Hey guys, how's it going? This is George from techluna.com and in this video we're going to have a look at on how to download all of your photos from iCloud. So, let's get started. If you guys want to see more tutorial guides, reviews, unboxings and more, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it in order to receive notifications for every content we upload. That being said, let's get straight to the video iCloud works by syncing all of your photos from all of your Apple devices and so if you choose to synchronize your photos from one device the photos from iCloud will be automatically downloaded to your device and your device will automatically upload as many photos as it can to your iCloud account. So I'm going to show you two ways where you can download all of your photos directly to your computer. So let's dive in. First things first navigate to settings and then go to iCloud. Here you will see all the types of files that iCloud can synchronize to your Mac. Go to photos and then click on options and here you're going to have a list of three options. Make sure iCloud photo is ticked and in case you get this message this means that iCloud doesn't know which library from photos to sync. So we need to choose this manually. So select open photos and the photos app should open up. Go to photos, preferences and then go to general. From library location you should have an option saying use as photo library. Select that and now iCloud will understand that this is the library that we want to synchronize close photos and back on iCloud, click again on options and tick iCloud photos again. In my case I just get this message because my Mac thinks that iCloud may not fit on my Mac. That's not a big deal though. At this point you may close settings and now on the background all of your photos will be synchronized to your Mac so that means iCloud will download all the photos which are not in your Mac and then your Mac will try to upload all the photos which are not in iCloud and the photos will be downloaded on the background and appear on your photos app. The bad side of this method is that it only works for Mac computers, it doesn't work for Windows 10 or PC computers. So that's why I'm including the second way which works for every computer and even you can do it from your Android phone. You only need your Apple ID and an Apple device for verification. Launch your favorite browser and visit iCloud.com. Here you need to enter your Apple ID, your Apple ID email and your Apple ID password. If you're using a Mac, you should see a number on the screen which you should type down in order to verify that it's you. Otherwise, if you're using a Windows, then grab your iPhone and the first thing that happens when you connect it to the network is going to show you this notification where you need to press on allow and then enter the code that is shown on the screen. A dialog will open up asking you whether iCloud should trust your browser. I trust Google, so I'll say trust. And this is the main menu of your iCloud account. As you can see, you can synchronize emails, contacts, calendar, and even any other file that you can imagine. But at the moment, we're interested in photos. Once you launch photos, here, you, here you're going to see all the photos which are stored within your iCloud. On the top, switch from moments to photos. And here you can also view all the deleted or hidden photos that you may have. To download a photo, simply click on it and then go on the top of the right when you see a cloud with an arrow pointing downwards. Click on that and then the image will start downloading. Once it's downloaded, you may find it on Finder and then double click on it in order to open it. In order to download all the photos, you need to select all of them. If you're on Windows, hold down Shift and A in order to select everything. Or if you're on a Mac, hold down Command and A. And now all of your images will be selected. Unfortunately, Apple only allows you to download 1000 photos at a time. And that can be very annoying, especially if you have many photos in iCloud. A quick tip to save a bit of time, if you have less than 2000 photos, select all of them and then deselect the remaining. But if you have more than 2000 photos, so then go ahead and select the first 1000 and download those. And then move on to select the second 1000 and download those and then repeat until you have no more photos left to download. In my case, I have less than 2000 photos, so I'm going to apply this quick technique I mentioned earlier. The quickest way of deselecting or selecting multiple photos is by holding down the shift button if you're on Windows or holding down the command key if you have a Mac and then by using your mouse or your trackpad drag in order to create a rectangle and as you can see all the photos covered by the rectangle are deselected. I have 1718 photos so I'm going to deselect the top 718 and I'll be left off with a thousand. Scroll up and repeat the process and keep repeating the process until you're left off with a thousand photos. Once you're done deselecting, you're ready to download a thousand photos. So again, click on the download button, the cloud with the arrow pointing downwards. And if you long press it, you have the option to download the original photos with the full resolution or modified or edited which are most compatible. Once you're ready, click on download all and I'll be back as soon as the downloads is done. 
Now you should see a download zip file named as iCloud Photos. In order to open it, select View on Finder and double click on it and then a folder should appear right next to it. Open the folder and you should see all the thousand photos that you have downloaded. But this is not the end of this business, we still have a bunch of photos to download. In my case I have 718 photos to download. To download them, we're gonna carry on with the technique that we have applied earlier on by holding down the shift key if you're on Windows or command key if you're on a Mac, use your mouse to drag in order to create a rectangle and again by scrolling down, repeat the process until you have selected all the remaining photos. After this, again go ahead and click on the download button to download all the remaining photos. Once the download is over, open the zip file on your finder and then you should see another folder with all the remaining photos that you have. For ease, you may drag all these photos and store them in one folder just to make things a lot simpler. And that brings you to the end of this video. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Don't forget to let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or any doubts. Don't forget to share this video to your friends and if you want to be part of the community or if you're a new visitor, don't forget to hit the subscribe button in order to stay connected. Thanks for watching and as always, I'm going to see you in my next video.